What's up boys and welcome to another very special on the video and one that is highly requested whether that's on YouTube or on my Twitch streams because everybody's asking for it and I keep saying to people it's not down to me it's up to the man the myth the legend himself that created the series Mr. AJ Free, how are you doing, mate? I'm doing good. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm not too bad. I've, we have recorded another one, as I'm sure you already do subscribe to Andy. Uh, in the case that you don't, I'll leave a link to him in the description. As I say, he is the creator of the series. Uh, we did one on Martinelli, and it was fun, wasn't it? I think it was a good episode. It was. Um, that is available on Andy's channel. Today, as you can see, we are doing this one on Future Stars Mason Mount. And his price has crashed. Over the week, but he looks he looks really good. He's got three star skills, but other than that, he actually looks sick. Yeah, he does look good. He's got 94 stamina, so you know he's good, he's good for a game. He's got good agility, decent balance, like really good passing stats, sort of like a, a decent pace as well. I mean, his pace is kind of boosted by that acceleration, but you never need crazy speed in the cam. I'm really looking forward to trying him out, and, and I've not used him yet because I'm a, I'm a bit of a cheapskate on the Xbox, you know. I like to try and pack players before I use them. Now, before we get into this episode, Andy, we've got something important, some breaking news, okay? Last time we did Squad Butter Showdown, we discussed they had, like, the tea and toast meme, right? How you like your tea, how you like your toast. But now, and, and this is shocking, they've added steak to it, okay? As if anyone would have steak with tea and toast. Well, you know, it might... I would. I've had a steak sandwich, you know, toast. Bit of cheese, steak, tomato. Okay, I suppose you'd have a Philly cheese steak as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can work something out. Now, the big question is, though, right, is A, how do you like it in the comment section? Okay, let me know down below, just using, like, the numbers and the letters, how you like your tea, toast, and steak. Andy, how do you like yours? All right, just putting it out there, right? If anyone picks five for steak, six yeah. for toast, and F for tea, honestly, just lock them up. Yeah, I, no, I do agree. I, I mean, I like a milky tea, but even that's too far. That's not tea, mate. That's a cup of milk with a yeah, tea bag is... dipped in it for a sec. Well, that's, what, that's what my dad used to say to me, though. You might as well just drink warm milk. But I don't, I, you know, I like a milky brew, but that is too far for me. I think I prefer D. I think it was D uh, Okay, so I thought you were going to say E, and I was going to say, if you, if you want to be weird, mate, go for it. You can have E. But all right, D, C, or B is acceptable. A is a bit weird, but again, acceptable. It's okay if you want to have, like, a Earl Grey or... Some form of fancy tea or chai tea or something like that. Oh, great. Oh, off, don't oh no, Andy. You're the type of guy to... Don't tell me the type of guy to go to Starbucks and get, like, a macchiato or something. Well, yeah, when I worked at McDonald's, he came come in and asked for, like... He's like, can I have a caramel macchino or something? I was like, sorry, mate, it's not Starbucks. He didn't like that response. <laughs> I was like, I can do you a white coffee if you want or, like, a latte, but... You need to be arrested if you pick a number five for steak. Yeah, if I you know, pick man. a number four, I've still got no time for you. Number yeah. three is acceptable. Number two is correct. And number Thank one, you. if you're feeling jazzy. And that's why we're friends, Andy. Number two is the, well, really the, the main way to have it. I would, yeah. and I, I know I'd get probably abused with, I, I don't have my steak blue, but I probably would eat it blue. I, I don't mind that. Medium rare, though, is the way to have steak. If you have your steak well done, you take Unless you're in rivals. France, mate. Be careful when you're in France, because if you'd ask for rare in France, it will come out still alive. I'm telling you now, if you watch this video, you're the type of person, right, if you have well done steak, to what, you're the replay watcher. You're the one that scores a horrific goal, runs the pitch you're seeing after going one nil up after being dominated. That's you. All right, that's I'll you. tell you now, what, if you put tomato sauce on your steak, you're the type of guy who rage quits when your opponent gets a penalty. Enough about food because it's making me hungry. We are actually here to play Squad Bit of Showdown, which, to be honest, I totally <laughs> forgot about there. But I still just want to discuss this. Number one isn't toast. Just have bread. Yeah, it is bread. Someone actually did say on Twitter, like, I think was deadly seriously arguing that they wanted it, like, one and two. Like, to be fair, if it is genuinely bread even... and not been toasted at all, you just like bread, fair play. If you pick a number two, <laughs> just get a grip. Because that is a bit like, toasted. have it that low. I don't even know how you can physically have it that low, like, on the toaster. It's like making tea with cold water. <laughs> I have wrote down a guess for you. Have you wrote down a guess for me? I have, mate. Would you like me to tell you what I want? Yeah, you tell me what you want first. Four, two, three, one, please, mate. Ah, oh, I wrote the other way around. Four, three, one, two. So you can have that. Oh, that's what would you the like? free camp. Uh, I would like the four, three, three, four variation, please. You can have it, mate. I put also four, three, one, two. Ah, oh, I could have got. See, I was gonna go four, one, two, and two narrow, but uh, I used this formation the other day when we did it, and when I was doing my league un icon swaps of like that really like low rated French team. I played this formation and it played really well, so I thought I'm going to give it a go. So that's what we're going to start with. Now, we will be back in a second. I think I've got left wing striker and right wing and you'll be the two cams and striker picks. 
Is that correct? Yeah, mate, I just can't stop looking at this picture. Back in a second. All right, then. So we are going to be doing our forward players first. And Andy, you are going to be guessing my player. So would you like like to know who I would like in the team, mate? Go for it. Okay, so sort of predictable, but obviously the way my formation is, I could have done anything. Uh, I have gone for uh, Raheem Sterling. I like his 91 card, but I'm just going to use his bog standard right wing 88 rated card. At left wing, I am going to go for someone that everybody, I think, packed 8 million times during team of the year. Um, that is the 84 rated left wing in form Jack Grealish. Grealish. Yeah. And then up front, I am going to do the standard pie face that I always do. Um, and that is go for the cheeky icon Cheapo to get the links in nice and tasty. And I'm going to go for the Newcastle legend himself, 87 rated Alan Shearer. Shearer. This is a tactic of yours, Mr. Pie. And I'm going to be honest with you, it never, not to shoot you down, it never really works. No, it does always go horrifically badly, actually. Yeah, you always pick a tragic icon. Alan Shearer in real life isn't tragic. Premier League's top I've goal, actually sorry, used him, I think, and he was quite good. I'm pretty sure when I used him, he was quite good, if I can uh, recall. Okay, then. Grealish looks... He's one of them where he's got left-wing-itis, Annie, from EA, where he plays yeah. left cam, and you give him a left wing, and you're just like, bro, what are you doing? He doesn't play there. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe he did play there, but he's just not good there on FIFA. Just make him a cam. But... No, 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 I know what you mean. It's the same with, like, Bernardo Silva, where they make him a right wing. If he, played, if he was a centre-attacking mid, he'd be quite good in yeah. that position. Is there any good news for me, though, Mr. Andy? You While can have them, yeah. Oh, I can have all three. Fantastic. Except Sterling. Who did you write it down? Except Sterling. Oh, I can't have Sterling. I put Sterling. Oh, that's an absolute disaster. Well, this is started, this is started abysmally. I was going to go for St. Maximum, and I didn't know why I just didn't choose him for Lynx, but I thought, no, because that's going to mess up the rest of the team. Um, but, yeah, that, that's a disaster. Are you trump carding me, or are you going to gonna allow me to have a winger? I'm going to give you a map, Macy. Thanks, mate. That's very cool. <laughs> I know you love him. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks thanks for that, mate. For those that, for those that don't understand. Those that know me will understand that. <laughs> oh, no. Plymouth, I got okay. Plymouth Argyle legend, isn't he? Yeah, definitely not. Wow. I mean, he seemed like a nice lad when we had him on loan. But, yeah, like, he could shot stop. He couldn't really do much else. I don't think I've ever seen someone like... So tilting in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but yeah, that's going to send me into meltdown when I've got to use him in game. This has already started absolutely brilliantly. Um, now, also just to confirm as well, because people will say, "Pipe, I've got to discard Shearer." Um, you know, he discards around. Okay, he will be going into a normal gold upgrade pack, just so the full pain if I end up having to discard him comes through. Would you like to tell me, Andy, who you want to use, mate? I would. I'm going to start it off, mate, on the left-hand side. With a centre forward, and his name is Hyung Min Son. Okay. Did I say left hand side? I meant right hand side. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm putting Son in. Either way, either way, the principle is still there. Yeah. At striker, I'm going to go for a position change, which hopefully you'll have forgotten about, and I can use. And that's going to be Anthony Martial. Right. Okay. He's got a striker in form. In form. So I'm yeah. Chuck him in the squad. And then. Left centre attack in mid. I'm going to go for a guy who maybe doesn't look the best, but I use him a lot in Squad of the Showdown, and he's actually really good. I'm going to go for second in form, Iosi Perez. Good news is you can have all three. I went for the England approach. I wrote Vardy, Ali, and James Madison. Very nice. Iosi Perez was also a victim of right wing itis. Whether he did actually play right wing, I don't know, but he got a right wing in form. He has now got a centre attack and mid second in form. Yeah, the, the right wing one, that was the Southampton game, was it? Or was the centre forward the Southampton game? I'm sure one of them he got for when they beat Southampton. Oh, and loads they of them scored like... that trick and they won like 9 0. Yeah, yeah, I know Chilwell got one. But then since then, like Southampton are like on a mad one now, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're, they're smashing in it, aren't they? Form. Yeah, the same as Watford, they're not doing too bad. I tell you what, I don't live Since what's his face took league, over, but... they've been smashing it. What's he called? Yeah. Hassan, is it Hassan Hutl? Ralph Hassan Hutl? Uh, is that uh, the Hassan, one? Yeah, Hassan Tala, something like Hassan Tala, something like that, isn't it? It's got a H and A and a lot of S's in it. That's pretty much all I can tell you about that. <laughs> who do you reckon's going to get relegated? Like or who do you want to get relegated? Well, I mean, I say want, but I think I think Norwich will go down. I think I think Villa will stay up. I, I, I don't know. It's, mate, it's so tight. I think Norwich will go down, right? They, they do look like they're really struggling. I mean, Brighton might... I don't know, like... 
I don't really dislike any of the clubs down there, to be honest. Like, they all have quite good philosophies as clubs, you know, like bringing talent through, not spending. You know, obviously, I'm, you know, people in the comments say, oh, some people did spend a mad amount of money, but yeah, I mean, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. As I say, Norwich, I think, will do. Who yeah, do you think? Do Norwich you think, are quite think... a way off the pace. West Ham are a mess. Oh, that's yeah, they are. They are. They they can't they can't find three points to save their life, can they? They're like, I mean, last weekend they drew. Did they draw? They drew three all, didn't they, on the weekend? I think. Have you seen their next fixtures as well? Who have they got coming up? Is it mad? Their easiest game or easiest in inverted commas because you just said they're smashing it is Southampton, and you've got to play like Wolves, City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Spurs, or something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. They're, they're, they they are really in trouble. They are really in trouble. Hello, the Championship. I'm sorry to say that West Ham fans, but I had some gobby one in my stream the other night, giving it large. When I was losing champs, I was just like, enjoy the Championship. <laughs> and then they just, they just come back with a hope you're happy in League Two. But hey, I'd rather be doing well in League Two than terrible in the Premier League. That's a lie, but hey, <laughs> I need something to cushion the blow, all right? Look at this. Uh, Squad Builder Showdown does not just give you tea and toast debate and steak debate. We get topical football debate. See, FIFA YouTubers, we actually do know a little something about football, all right? People are like, oh, FIFA YouTubers, they don't know nothing. A little bit, all right? A tiny smidgen. Oh, I'll go anyway, a third, mate. Oh, huh? I know, mate. We're absolutely flying. And does we've got third get automatic promotion? Yeah, third is automatic. Fourth, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, playoffs. and seventh is playoffs. Yeah, we have been a mad, we have been a mad form. I think actually this video should be going out on Saturday, so I will be probably on the way to Colchester away, and that is absolute trek because we live far from everywhere. And then the Tuesday we've got, we've got, we've got Tuesday we've got Salford away on a Tuesday night, and then the week after we've got another Tuesday night away at Macclesfield. That's what Christ. dreams are made of, mate. That's two new grounds that as well. Any Ipswich fans? Are the only grounds I've not been to in League One and Two. Is Ipswich, which is League One, so I can't do that this year. Then Salford and Macclesfield, and we've got them back to back. So I only have one more to tick off for League One and Two. Mate, you are smashing it, and you live in literally the middle of nowhere. I don't. People won't realise watching this video because I didn't. Just how far away from ever from Plymouth is? Yeah, yeah. It, it literally, like people are like, oh, like when we have like an event in London, for example, and everyone's like 30 minutes away. Like just to get to London sometimes is three and a half hours. Add on, you know, then getting from Paddington to the event and etc. Sometimes you're talking four or five hour journey, like just to get there and then home again. But to be honest, with the away games, that's part of the fun. I don't know if there's like anyone watching that's a proper like away fan, but you'll properly, you'll properly get it. Like it's not just going to the football on away day. Like especially considering like what I do for a living is a lot. You know, it's on my own majority of the time. You know, so when you get to go and see your mates after a couple of weeks on a weekend it's just bloody brilliant we even i even host now andy we have a banana bus quiz it's great a banana, yeah like it's uh, it's on row by row and we've now got on the spot prizes it, it, it gets very competitive mate like i'll just get a round of drinks in for the row on the bus that wins but nice. like now seating seating changes come in after we stop for breakfast because people want to uh people want to be with the better <laughs> better people because some of them some of them are normally no hopers <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I love it. I love the away days, mate. I love it. Hopefully some people can relate. Some people can relate. Literally eight years ago, I just like went to Port Vale away, lost 4-0 and just bam. Missed five in eight years. That's not a bad effort, I don't think. I think I Jeez. worked out like the average the average mileage per year, I think is like 12,000. 12, I think is the average miles. The banana bus is, bus is putting in a shift, mate. No, it is. The last thing I will say before we go into midfielders, because we, we love a bit of football chat, shout out to our minibus driver, Kersey. Absolute legend. And he drives, Andy. I don't know if you know, St. Austell is in Cornwall. That's actually an hour away from Plymouth. So he starts in St. Austell and even sometimes goes down to pick up my friend JT in Truro. So he'll go down to Truro from St. Austell, then from Truro to wherever in the country, then back to Truro, then to St. Austell in a day. Our, our living hero. But he is robbing, so less of that. <laughs> Alright then, so after that absolute football ramble, we have now gone and got our centre mid and CDM picks for Andy. So, would you like to tell me who you would like as your CDMs? Sure. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm saying sure. I've got no idea. Just making it up as oh. I go along. <laughs> we fair, have fair just play. got a premier. Do you know what? I packed Inform Jordan Henderson the other day. I'm going to go for him. Right, okay. Throw him in. Why not? First owner. Strong link to mount. All right. Um, Wilfred Ndidi. Why not? 
Well, indeed, you can have both, mate. I wrote Torreira, as I know you like that card. I do. And I also wrote the Everton player, Emily Sande herself, Gabamin. Because I thought you might have picked, you know, Everton and all that. But <laughs> yeah, obviously, you nice. decided against that, mate. Um, would you like to know who I would like at uh, centre mid? I'd love to know, mate. Now, uh, I've actually gone for the same pick as you. Uh, I would like the inform Jordan Henderson. Nice. Um, at, uh, obviously, CDM. Uh, position change to a centre mid uh, and then I would also like to use um, inform uh, James Madison um, ah, at right okay. centre mid uh, he's one of my favourite cards in the game um, I ha he has got a headliner if I can afford that headliner um, I will use that version if I've got the coins I will buy him I'm not entirely sure how much he's going for but I should do if I've got the coins I'll buy the headliner version but you're making a problem of Brexit team, aren't you? Yeah, well, you know, we're talking about tea and toast that got me all, you know, very good save the queen and all that. Can I have uh, can I have them both? You can. I swear you always build Brexit FC against me actually on your channel. I need to start remembering this and write them down. Do you, if you had Sterling, icon aside, I suppose you could say the striker position is up for grabs because Kane's injured. That is basically what should be the England team, really? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Madison, Mount, Grealish, all kinds of play in the same spot, and people argue about who should be playing there. But like Henderson, one of them, Sterling, Sancho, Kane. Yeah, we 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 have got a lot of, for the Euros. We have got a lot of talent. I, I mean, I Calvert can't wait Lewin. For it. Yeah, no, you are right. Like there are players that are like on the fringe that that you know with Southgate might get a look in. But we I tell you, we who should be, play actually. Should Mason Colgate. Holy. What, He's been right like Everton's back. player of the season. Do you still think he'll play Trippier at right back though? Nah, Holgate's a centre back. Oh, does he play a centre back? Oh right, sorry, yeah. I thought he played at right back. Yeah, but he'll probably play Stones and well Maguire. Yeah, prop that probably would be the centre back. Yeah, Holgate mate. Maguire. Saying that though, he likes a fruit at the back. You never know. But Smalling's having a good season at Roma. He True. could sneak back into the England setup again. But I do love the Euros. Do you like the Euros? Like, I, 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 I just me personally, I can't. Like friendly games, I just can't get hyped. International for. football drives me mad when it's yeah, not a competition. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. But when it's like the World Cup or Euros, man, I just I love it, absolutely love it. There, there was, there was actually, um, I do remember the yeah, got a little bit messy at the uh, the England Sweden game, but that that goal when that 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 moment when uh, that penalty, Dyer scored that penalty, that was madness. That was absolute madness. Uh, do you remember where you were for that? When uh, mm. against Colombia? No. Wow, that's em that's emotional, Andy. I thought you could just be like, bam. Do you know what me about watching the England matches? The fact that everyone what? just lashes beer everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty much though what happened when we did score late on. Yeah, but I I get the for mad goals. It was against the, the silly one. I think it was against um who was it? Was it like Panama when we scored like the sixth and people are throwing beer everywhere? It's just I don't know. Like, I was to... watching the Super Bowl the other day. Yeah. I want to cut away to. I think it might have been to San Fran when the 49ers first got, got a touchdown. A touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. And they all went crazy. Like, yeah. And then you just think, like, if that was England, English fans watching England or something like that, like everyone does, there's going to be some poor guy there who's gone in a nice new jacket or something and now it's just ruined and covered in beer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or he's just no, had his hair no. cut and now he's soaked and he's just like, oh, can't you yeah, celebrate your but... lash and beer everywhere? You'd think though, though, right? You'd think that if you were to go to one of them, you would know what to expect. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's what, I don't like getting covered in beer, so I haven't really been to one. But yeah, I would yeah, quite yeah, like no, to go to point. one and not get covered in beer, do you know what I mean? Because it'd be a good atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, I, I know, know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I guess they're not all like that, but hey, at the end of the day, once you've had a few, it's just like Celebration City. Roll on the blooming Euros, I can't wait. And I'll tell you what else I can't wait for. Look at this transition. Look at this. Look. See, the fullbacks! Yeah, the fullbacks. Yeah, I like that. We'll cut it there. Time for the fullbacks. All right, so we have now got the fullback choices. Andy, have you got your guesses for me? I have, mate. All right, now what I have decided to do is I'm going to mix it up a little bit as I already have got basically everybody on uh, full chem. At right back, I am going to go for uh, Inform Kappa from the Liga Santander. That is what I'm going for at right back. Okay, and then but you're off your head. Left back, uh, I'm going to go for one of the legends of this year's ultimate team, uh, the man himself, Ferland Mendy. Just to double check, you're playing 4-3-3, the fourth variation? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm convinced that that works. I'm sure that um, I'm sure right Henderson and yeah Henderson and Madison are on full chemistry. Yeah. They are. They are. Yeah, mate. If you want to do that, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, we'd like to mix up, but you know what I mean? Like, we don't just want to be like, I know the comments like, ah, oh, oh, I just got a Premier League team. Well, there you go. All right, okay. I think that was a terrible idea, mate. I'm going to level with you, but we move on. I'm going to go <laughs> right back for Hector Bellerin, please, mate, because I'm scared of picking all these. I really wanted to pick the one I wrote down for you, Aaron's, Future Stars Aaron's, oh, but maybe you've written right. them down. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They're all a bit bait, aren't they? Kyle Walker's got a few special cards. Pereira's got a few special cards. Alexander Ron's got a team of the year. I'm just going to pick Bellerin because he's safe and fast. Yeah. And, and I think you've lost your damn back. mind, to be honest, if you pay. So I feel yeah. I feel I'm pretty confident no matter who I get. And then left back, I'm going to go for... I really want to go for headliner Digne. Are you going to have written it down? I'll have headliner Digne, please, pay. Boom! I finally got one. <laughs> Yeah, you can't have Dinya, unfortunately, mate. You can have, you can have uh, Bellerin. I wrote down a Dama because I know he's got that inform right back card. I don't yeah. know whether you're going to be a little bit mental. Sneaky. But yeah, you can't have Dinya, mate. So hey, you know what? At the end of the day, it's, it's a position. You know what? You know what? Because of the way your team is, I'm not going to trump card it. I'm not going to trump card it. I'm just going to give you a normal left back. I'll work out someone to give you in a second. Um, and while we're doing that, we're going to go and get our centre back and goalkeeper picks. Okay, so now I've just had the sudden realisation. I'm sure you were spamming it in the comment section or shouting at your screen a minute ago. I realised with my left back and right back uh, picks what I've actually done, which is completely messed it up because... I miscalculated all the chemistry and thought I could do something totally different, which I couldn't do. So I'm about to lose absolutely horrifically. Firstly, Andy, um, I get to spare myself for one minute as you have to tell me who you would like um, in your teammate. Two seconds. Let me just cross out the last guess, which I've written down here. Who would you like as your centre backs and your goalkeeper, mate? Okay, mate. Well, you've given me LaRucci for left back. Yes. Now, I initially wanted Luca Digne. And the reason I wanted Digne is to spice this team up a bit and hybridize my centre-backs. And the uh, idea okay. was going to be to go PK, Umtiti for the Spanish thing to Bellerin, the French thing to Digne, and then pick a La Liga goalie. Now, I can't pick them, obviously, because you've given me La Rucci. However, yeah. he is Algerian. And knowing how tragic your team is about to become, because I've guessed at least one of your centre-backs, guaranteed, put your house yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to do it anyway. So, if I go to Algeria and go to centre-backs... Uh, yeah, I, know, I already know what you're going to pick. So, yeah. There's Mandy. Mandy, yeah. Yeah. He gets a strong link to Bartra. Who also links across to... Bellerin. Bellerin, yeah, which is nice. And then I can just pick any La Liga goalie that I want. So, I will go for... Courtois, why not? I like Courtois. He's good on this game. Yeah, Merry, yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I wrote Shah, Otamendi, and Pope. So, I gave you that left back as well because I thought, who in there can he hybridise with? Oh yeah, Mandy. Yeah, that one I was definitely thinking about. Yeah, well done, mate. Yeah, you can have all three. Now, before people, by the way, call me a like terrible and incompetent. Watch Andy's video, okay? That's all I'm saying. Watch Andy's, and I did a lot better than I did in this. All right. It doesn't matter who Andy's wrote down on his board, but when it does it actually, it's quite important. But the left centre back is obvious because. So I messed up, Andy, because I thought I could link him to like any French, league Santander left uh, centre back, and he still get 10 chem. And then I realised he has no soft link, so he can't. Yeah. So, obviously, you've wrote down Varane, because there is no other way to get him on full chemistry. So, I had to pick Varane yeah. in order to get Ferland Mendy on full chemistry. I mean, chem I mean so at I'll least put... you don't have to buy Varane, because you're never going to get him, because he's on the way. Uh, yeah, well, we'll put Varane in anyway. So, that's 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 you know, that's there. Right, now, the thing is that right centre-back is I have to give Kappa a... He needs a perfect uh, link as well. Now, he doesn't have a perfect link, but the good... The, the, well, the, the, the only positive news I have is, is they do have three centre-backs. Well, they have four. In fact, if I guess yeah, it, there's a nice bronze, bronze one that I can give you. Yeah, I know, I know. So, it's basically I've got a 33% chance. Uh, mind Games... Like, Mind Games, right, says that... Oh, <laughs> right, this is quite important. Now, obviously, said logically, I'd take the one with the most pace, right? That would make more sense, but... Oh, I'd never take the lower. I'd never take the 76 red one though. But you know I would. So you might have watched that. 
So I'm going to, uh, you know what, I'm going to play the, the massively dangerous game here. And I'm, uh, you didn't, you wouldn't think I'd choose one of the most plays, it's so obvious. I'm actually going to, I'm going to go and go Martinez. I was going to go Unai Nunez, but I'm going to go Martinez only because, like, I shouldn't choose it, but you don't, it's, it's all a mind game. And in goal, um, which I really do need to keep. Uh, I am going to go for uh, a previous squad but a showdown legend on our videos, Andy, and go for Inform Pacheco. That's the team I would like. Is there Pacheco any... Pacheco is a good shout. Pacheco is a good is shout. That... that means you, did you, you got the other right centre back, yeah? Put to Stegen, mate, because he's probably the best goalie in La Liga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just knew it was too obvious that I couldn't choose him. Put Varane, obviously, because that was literally the only one that could wear. Yeah. Did I put... Martinez because he's the best <laughs> one. Did I put Nunes because he's the worst one? So I think he might pick the worst one to try and get it. Or did I pick Yeri because he's the one in the middle? So he's like the inconspicuous one, and you might go for that. Yeah. Who's now you went for Martinez, which coincidentally I also wrote. <laughs> oh no! I should have gone for Nunes. <laughs> oh, like we're hey, mate, have listen, at logic. least you can have Vivian. <sighs> Mate, we li yeah, yeah, I, I guess, like, we literally had, like, we literally had, like, the same, we literally had, like, exactly the same logic as well to, like, who we were picking. I just thought, I, if I take, like, yeah, I was like, surely you'll think I'll take the worst one. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, mate, I am going to get absolutely slapped here. Mate, I need a centre back. Well, I don't think it's possible to get Mendy on full chem. So, do you only want to get some full chem as Varane? I'm not giving you Varane. No, no, of course not. You just have to give me a... Well, I'll give you the French? strong link. I'll give you the strong link. I'll give you... There's no bronzers. So I'll give you this guy with 49 pace. Len Normand. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Thanks very much, mate. Oh, my. I'm gonna. I'm about to get absolutely slapped. Mount, mount like, 300k on the line. If I can keep it to 5 or 6 nil, there's an outside <laughs> chance I might be able to keep him. <laughs> Shearer's going to be like 150 damage rate. Oh, mate, this is going to be an absolute disaster. Then. Right. Um, we're going to get into the game. All I'm saying is pray for pie. That's all I can say. All right, then, so here we go. It's been a nightmare to get this to it because for some reason on PlayStation, I don't know if you've experienced this watching the video, it's done like, it does like a squad glitch. So if you buy players, it disappears and doesn't work, but... We've got it now. Somehow, Andy, if I managed to not lose 5 or 6 nil, I'd say it's been actually a good day. Is this Mason Mount good, though? That is the main question everyone wants the answer to. The pace stuff, though, is always bad, though. Like, when, like, Ramos just catches up with my team of the year, like, oh, my God. Jordan Henderson? Oh, that would have been madness. Defo shouted Gerard in his head then, didn't he? Oh, Hector Bellerin on the counter with his pace, That's though. That's a good pass. Oh, dear. No! Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... I feel like the floodgates have parted slightly there. That was a there. finish and a half, though. Holy. Yeah, that was a good goal. That was a really good goal. Terrible touch, Mason. Oh, you're joking. Oh, my God. Mount, I dare you. Mount, please. Mount, yes! Come on! That could be huge. Get in there. Sorry, I, that's that's limbs. That is actual limbs. There is a way fans on the pitch. Cairo <laughs> is being thrown. Oh, no. that's a, That was terribly time. That was awful. Jack! Bad. That's awful. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm trying to slide there. Like, what am I attempt? What am I trying to achieve? Well, Young Min Sun's like playing CDM. He's doing my editing. Yeah, you need, you probably need to change it on uh, on the like on the tactics. It messes up. That's a good finish. With some formations, it glitches out when the, the, the cam plays like random positions. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I feel like the floodgates have opened a bit now. Martial's banging the mini. I don't know what I'm doing yeah. shooting from there, but he somehow finished it anyway. Macy, Macy do a bit. Go on, Alan. Little ding. On the volley for the fans! Go! Get in there, Alan, what son! What a strike. That's we'll prime that. Alan Shearer there, isn't it? We'll have that. Go on, Shearer. Good finish. Mate, oh, come gone. on, boys. I was right. Mate, why's Macy doing bits? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? I should have sweated it. He doesn't need to! He doesn't need to! <laughs> Kappa! <laughs> oh my lord, what is going on? Oh no, and then the classic. Oh! He's... And how... Oh my god, how's he missed? I've just finessed how's... it from five yards out and he's put oh it over the bar. My... Was that a finesse shot? Oh yeah. my god, how's he missed? That's unbelievable. There was about to be a meltdown. 
No. No! Oh, I was safe! Oh my god. Mate, what's this safe? is a joke. Oh my god, Pacheco is actually putting himself in like squabble showing history. What a save. No! Oh my god, Pacheco! I'm Oh my lord! The bodies! The bodies! Oh no! No! He's unlocked the key! Oh! Mate, that was, that was dodgy. That was not who I was trying to pass that to. Oh, we've gone down like the Berlin Wall there. We were holding strong. That's a that's a great ball. If that's a gold centre back, I think he probably puts a foot out there to stop it. But yes, Mendy again. Oh no, that was unlucky. Oh, what a save! He is oh, on something. Someone send him to Wadder. He someone's put sugar on his Weetabix. I can tell you that he's having a he's having a blinding game. Oh my oh. god! Wow. And yeah, okay. That that could hurt. That hurt. That's another discard, and that hurts. Oh well. That's a that's a great finish. That's an absolutely ridiculous fi Wow. That's a mental yeah, that, volley. That's, isn't a, that's it? a ridic that's a ridiculous goal. What, what a game. Hell? 68 shooting. I didn't, okay. I did I didn't expect this game to turn out like this, I'll tell you that now. Go on, Mason. Oh no. Oh, not like that. <gasps> oh He tackled instead oh, of shot. Hurt. <laughs> that would hurt. You know what? You know what? If I was offered that school line at the start of the game, I probably would have bit your hand off. Like Normally, people ask me, like, in real life, would you take a draw? I'm like, nah, I always go for the win. But in this scenario with the team <laughs> I had, I would have bit your hand off probably for a two-game, a two-loft deficit. Right, okay, Andy. The squad is mixed up. So, you have two selections, which, as I say, I was expecting about six. So, two is a bonus, unless it's, obviously, the horrific uh, options, which there are two. You've got two, you know, to pick from that's pure pain. Who would you like, mate? Left centre back. And right okay. wing. Oh no! You got Shearer. You got Shearer. Nice. Oh mate, do you know what? You got Pacheco. I Mount was at right centre back. I nearly Ooh. put Mount left centre back as well. Wow, what did I pay for Shearer? I think I think I paid like one third. I think I paid a hundred and. What I pay? 130k. That's quite a lot for me, considering like that's probably going to cost me another 12k on this account. But so that it's done properly, um, I mean, I could discard it. But normally, obviously, we'd list guard an icon, right? But did you say the new thing is I need to put it into a gold, gold, into upgrade. A gold upgrade? That's what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah, mate, I'm fine to do that. He is tradable actually, so I could like. But obviously, to make sure I can't, I can't get him back. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. You know, cause the uh, cause the fans any issues. So it could have been worse. It could have been Mount, but I'd say actually 130k is not the worst considering how bad my team was. True. I will go and put him into this now. One second, and I will uh, submit this. Right. So there you go then. A normal gold upgrade pack. Alan Shearer. Do I had to blub and pay to position change as well? Because that's any put him in the wrong one. Goodbye, mate. It's emotional. There you go, my man. Shearer has gone. Should we see what we get in return? Actually. Go on. We sacrificed Alan Shearer. I wonder what we're going to get back for our sacrifice. Here's the exciting part. Will it even be a board? Yes. No. Yes, it is actually a board. Ah, oh, it was a board. Nice. Uh, Dutch centre back. I actually got De Vrij back. I got an 84. Look at that. We put an icon and get De Vrij back. Hopefully you did enjoy, enjoy today's video. Thank you ever so much again to Andy for uh, letting me have this on the channel. The absolute legend himself. Um, as I say, make sure to go and check out our previous video if you've not seen it already over on his channel. And uh, go and drop him a subscription. Any parting words, Andy, before we uh, part ways? Mate, Pacheco, get him in your team. He's sick. Yeah, Inform Pacheco is an absolute hero. What, what a man. What a man. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. All the best from us. Peace.